Hello, hello. It is the next day and this is the same pot that I threw last night. It has dried a little bit so that it is leather hard and is firm enough that I can trim it. Now, usually what a lot of potters would do is cut the pot off the bat, flip it upside down and trim a foot. But because I'm making 40 of these in a fairly short amount of time, I'm going to trim it on the bat, cut it and sign it and hope for the best. So I'll show you the tools that I have. I have a couple of carving tools. I have my large carving tool that I will be using to cut away the extra clay so that the pot's not too heavy. And then I have a smaller one that I'm gonna cut the ridges and the texture into the vase so that when I glaze it, the vase, um, the glaze breaks on the ridges really nicely. I've got a glaze called Cream Rust and it breaks really well. And then I have my wire tool, which I will use to cut it off at the end. So let's see how this goes. So the goal right now is just to take off any excess clay so that the pot is not too heavy. And it also helps with the shaping of the pot. So that I get that more classic shape. Now I'm doing all sorts of different shapes for my bases, which you'll see if you come to the gala. But I did do a few that are this kind of classic Greek vase shape because a lot of people really like it. It's fairly iconic and um, it's pretty. All right, so I'm taking off my excess clay. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do something called shattering or chattering, where you take and you bounce your trimming tool on the area that you want to add the, the chattering texture. And what this does is it creates a texture on the clay body so that when I put the clay on it, the clay the glaze, when I put the glaze on it, excuse me, the glaze will break and form different colors over the different textures on the base. So I'm doing this because I have a specific glaze that I'm gonna use that when it has texture to work with, uh, is really beautiful and breaks really beautifully. So I'm gonna keep this section of my pot here, the kind of uh, shattered style here and keep it just really Texture. Now, I'm going to take my smaller trimming tool and I'm going to do, I'm going to cut in my foot down here. And then going up, I'm going to do these lines. To add more texture to the pot. And again, this is so that my glaze called cream rust will break and have a lot of different colors in my glaze. All right, and then just take a little bit off the bottom. And there you can see I have added my texture. I'm going to take, hold my wire tool almost like you would hold floss and drag it along the bottom. And there you are. Now the next step will to let this dry, be to let this dry more. And then I will show you the loading it into the kiln. Thank you, have a great day.